Hello, and uh, today we'll be looking at how to differentiate and integrate in the scripting software uh, called MATLAB. So first of all, for differentiation, uh, what you want to do is in order to differentiate a function, we need to set ourselves a symbolic variable. So in this respect, um, we will set x as a symbolic variable, um, which MATLAB's taken a while. I just started MATLAB up, so uh, this is the actual first command besides the clear all command that I've run. So anyways, we need to set a symbolic variable, and we need to uh, do diff with a parenthesis. This is your basic differentiation function. Um, and now we can just plug in any old function that we would like to take the derivative of. So we'll do derivative of x cubed minus 5x uh, squared uh, plus 7x minus uh, 3. All right, so you can input our function. This should be a plus sign. All right, so you input your function right here, and you need to add a parentheses, and then the variable that you would like to take the derivative of. So I'm going to take the derivative with respect to x here. So I'll throw an x in, and then close our parentheses. And we should be able to uh, input that in. It should give us the derivative here. Yep, so then if you take the derivative of this in your head, you will get 3x squared uh, minus 10x plus 7. This also works for trigonometric functions. I want to take the derivative of the sine of 5x, say, and uh, differentiate with respect to x. It should give us 5 cosine times 5x, which is uh, what it does. So that's how you take first derivatives. Um, second, third, fourth, fifth derivatives, all pretty similar. So to take the second derivative of a polynomial, or of any function for that matter, uh, just do diff with a parenthesis, and then the same thing again. And then you'll input your inner function. So let's do uh, x cubed. Well, Got to make sure that's a lowercase x. x cubed uh, minus uh, cosine of x, let's say. All right. And then we need to different. We're looking to differentiate uh, the inner function right here with respect to x. So we need to add that comma and then the x and close off the differentiation. And then what we have in, highlighted right here basically becomes the um, second func the function that will be differentiated when we take our second derivative. So we need to put a comma and then an x, and then this will give us the second derivative uh, with respect to x of this function. Press enter. It gives us 6x plus cosine x, which uh, that sounds right to me. So that's basically how you take derivatives in MATLAB. You can also take multivariable derivatives. Uh, the process is pretty much the same. Let me go ahead and clear my workspace, and I will show you all that real quickly. Um, so to take the derivative of a multivariable function, you need to set uh, two variables as um, symbolic. And then we can do the derivative of, say, uh, x squared uh, plus y squared, all right, uh, plus 3. And we'll take this derivative with respect to x, and we should get an answer of 2x, which we do. And we can do the same thing, um, but take the derivative with respect to y. And we should get 2y, which we do. And we can also expand this into uh, multivariable functions, um, taking second derivatives of multivariable functions. So right here, we're taking the first derivative with respect to y, and we'll take a second derivative with respect to x. Um, so this will be a partial y, partial x of the multivariable function here and give this 0, which is the correct answer. So that's pretty much how you take derivatives in MATLAB. Uh, taking integrals is uh, very similar. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and clear our workspace. You have to set a symbolic variable first. So we'll set uh, x as a symbolic variable. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll use the int with a parenthesis. Uh, that's how we'll do our integration here. And then uh, we can just input our function. So let's do integral of x squared plus on uh, or minus sine x all right and then we need to integrate with respect to x so we'll put a comma and then x and then we'll close our parentheses and this should give us our integral uh, once it finishes thinking yep which that's the correct uh, indefinite integral if you integrate this you will you will notice it doesn't add the plus c like the plus of plus a constant but uh, you can just mentally add that uh, to the end of it and then if you want to do, um, uh, what's it called, integration with numbers, 
uh, definite intervals, sorry, I don't know why I blanked out on that. Uh, you'll go ahead and you'll input your function. So we'll do x squared uh, plus or minus the sine of x, same integral that we had before, uh, comma x, because you want to integrate here with respect to x, and then we'll input the bounds of integration here. So we'll go from, say, 4 to uh, 7. And then we'll close our parentheses, press enter, and it will give us an indef or the answer to the definite integral here. And you can see it kind of gave it to us in exact form. Um, so anyways, that in a nutshell is how you do differentiation and integration of functions in MATLAB. I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, please leave a like, and uh, even comment if you have any comments about it. So thanks for watching, guys. This has been Iron Pine, and I'm out. I'll catch y'all later.